It's called the Keen Fit Shield. It's the latest effort by the Portland-based footwear company to protect retailers, staff, and customers from COVID-19. A simple six-foot-high plastic shield. And basically in those uh, classic uh, sit and fit stores, you can put the person who's trying on the shoes behind behind the shield and the person who's doing the fitting can go the other side of the shield. The customer pokes their feet out and they can have their shoes fitted in a safe way. So we're just uh, again creating that very safe environment for people to feel confident they can go into stores and get the best possible experience. Certainly an innovative way to keep people safe as more stores open up and more people start shopping inside of them, which brings up another concern. A concern that doesn't have to do with trying them on, but with simply wearing them out. So the issue with the shoe, again, is related to one of the major paths of transmission, the droplet. Dr. Jun Hoi Chi is the director of the Center for Global Health at Oregon State University. He says although small, there is a risk of bringing the COVID-19 virus into our homes on the bottom of our shoes. Let's say an infected person coughs and an infected droplet falls to the ground and you step on it. It could attach to your shoe. Then when you walk into your home, especially if you have carpeting, that now dried droplet can rub off and become airborne, or as scientists call it, an aerosol. In an indoor, not well ventilated space, uh, the virus uh, can evolve into aerosol. That's the most dangerous form uh, of transmission. Dr. Chi says while the risk is low, there is still a risk. And the best way to minimize that risk is to simply take off your shoes before you head inside or disinfect them. You can spray the bottom of your shoe with, with alcohol. That will kill, kill the potential uh, virus. Because while many stores are taking innovative steps to protect us, we need to do our parts too. We will be in this pandemic for much longer than we wish for or expected. And that means we have to adapt. In Portland, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.